Slamat Paggy, Mio here, and Kido here, to tell you that there was once a time when Transformers was very much waning in popularity. To the point that what was supposed to be a full anime series ended up getting cancelled after only one episode. Enter, fight, super robot life on Transformers, Zone. But before we talk about Zone, let's talk about why there's a Transformers anime in the first place. Originally, Transformers G1, the OG series, was supposed to end with a final fourth season, but due to waning interest, it was instead turned into a three-part series. But before anyone decided not to give a crap about it, it introduced a new concept in the Transformers, and that was Headmasters. Yes, the driver of a vehicle actually becomes the head of the robot. Headmaster Transformers! Headmasters are a type of symbiotic variant on the Transformers life form, in which a smaller being, frequently but not exclusively organic, transforms into the head of the larger robot. Or at least that's what the Transformers wiki tells me. I'm a skateboarder! I'm a skateboarder. What the f was even that? Takara, who are the Japanese producers of the Transformers toy line, had before this point been importing the American Transformers cartoon series. But now, instead of importing a three episode series, they decided their main goal was to blow up. And then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> and they made their own series called Transformers Headmasters. In this Japanese version, the Headmasters are a group of puny Cybertronians who left their planet millions of years ago and crash landed on an unforgivable planet called Master. In order to survive its brutal climate, select Cybertronians created large bodies called Transsectors, to which they themselves connected as heads. Based off of everything I've read, the Japanese continuity seems like a pretty interesting series to watch. We might have to check it out later. A lot of people consider Headmasters to be the official end to G1 rather than the American three-part series. But back to Zone. After Headmasters, Takara created Super God Master Force and Victory, and finally, Zone. Zone was originally supposed to be a full series, but the epic fall-off of Transformers popularity was catching up with Japan, and toy sales were not looking so hot. So, the series was forced to be a single episode released straight to home entertainment. So let's finally talk about that. In the beginning, in the in the bini in the beninging in the opening we were a little confused as to why the good guys were called cybertrons and the bad guys are called destrons but the main thing we noticed is that a lot of anime from this time period relied heavily on exposition in the first minute plus of the show btw this contains spoilers for the previous three series so be warned but we will speak vaguely and not mention some characters names for your benefit so it seems that violin jiger a recurring villain has nine demon generals which is the most anime thing ever. He's a bad dude because he just pulls up to a planet called Femina and starts blasting. And with a scene that is unironically better than anything in James Cameron's Avatar, Violin Jagger basically blows up the entire planet with what looks like a nuclear explosion. But luckily the Cybertronians managed to evacuate the planet. But in the midst of rescuing what I thought was a girl at the time, the Supreme Commander, who's the good guy leader of the Cybertronians, blows up with the planet. Oh no! -er. I don't know why I keep on saying oh no. -er. <laughs> The androgynous human child he rescued is called Cain, and I guess he goes with the Cybertronians. I'm not sure if he had parents, or if they're still alive, or whatever, but either way, we get a banger opening theme. Oh yeah, oh yeah, listen to that. Break it down. Break it down. Break it, break it down. Skanky leg. Violin tells his demon generals to book it and get some super energy so he can make a Destron zone. Okay. 76 days later on Planet Zone, Kane is hanging out with the Cybertronians. Are they called the Cybertrons? I don't know. Cybertron. Cybertronians. Who cares? Planet Zone has a super energy called Energon Z that is used for the largest Cybertronian space self-defense system. And I'm not exactly sure what it, that means, uh, but it sounds like a big deal. Apparently, the planet was built by Powered Masters. Huh? Oh, you don't know what Powered Masters are? Cringe! Powered Masters are a type of elite squad of uber-powerful Autobots. According to the wiki, they're called Autobots, not Cybertrons. I don't know. They have powered engines that give them the ability to traverse the universe and create energy-producing colony worlds, which sounds pretty powerful indeed. When three Powered Masters combine, they become Big Powered, which is actually what their name is called. But the most important thing that you need to know is that two characters, Die Atlas and Sonic Bomber, will pop up soon, and they are Powered Masters. So let's move on. Kane has a flying anime rabbit called Emusa that talks way too much and contributes nothing to the plot. Stop whining like a little. Sometimes the art and animation in this episode is not, not super great. 
The demon generals suddenly attack, and despite their micromasters, by the way, they're the regular sized Cybertrons who populate the planet, despite their best efforts to fend them off, the demon generals absolutely own them, scam them with the fake Robux, and steal the Energon Z. I'm not gonna lie, as a person who knows very little about Transformers lore, I am very confused about how any of this stuff works. The micromasters then go after the demon generals, taking Kane along with them for some reason, and almost get killed by one of the generals. But luckily, they get saved by their teammates. Quite the animation. It seems that the Destron Demon Generals are now headed to Earth, and that's big bad news! This would be a great time for the Supreme Commander and the Powered Masters to show up, and behold the power of perfect timing! Powered Masters die Atlas and Sonic Bomber manage to somehow save the Supreme Commander, who nearly died earlier. But there's no time to celebrate because the Powered Masters have to head to Earth and face the Demon Generals and get their Super Mineral Zodiac before the bad guys do. The Zodiac is a mysterious energy that has the power to make a universe and when combined with Energon Z, it would create a super energy as powerful as a star. Are you following the story so far? Yeah, me neither. And only at the halfway point. On Earth, the Demon Generals are wreaking havoc by blowing up the twin- Oh my god! <laughs> <clears throat> destroying stuff in an effort to find the Zodiac. Oblivious to this destruction is Akira, who is a young boy hunting for butterflies, but then he gets the shock of his young life. <laughs> Luckily for him, he's saved by the good guys, he meets Kane. Uh, apparently, Akira was originally supposed to be a girl, but they changed it to be a boy later. A, lo a lot of people think this means that Japan is shipping underage boys together, and that's, that's not good. <laughs> What the ship? The Micromasters try to fight the Demon Generals, but they don't do squat. But then Die Atlas and Sonic Bomber arrive, and Die Atlas, get, and Die Atlas gets a way better transformation scene. Transform! That's it. The Powered Masters are more than a match for the Generals, but when Die Atlas goes to get the Zodiac before the bad guys do, he gets ambushed and almost killed. But thanks to some quick thinking, he escapes and almost dies immediately after while trying to get the Zodiac back. Sonic Bomber takes one for the team, and with no other option, I guess, Die Atlas asks the Zodiac to bestow its blessed power onto Sonic Bomber and himself. To the surprise of absolutely no one, it works! <laughs> The good guys murderize the bad guys, and yes, at least one of them actually dies. To get some more info about the Zodiac that isn't important, and they lure Akira back to the Zone Planet, and Dai Atlas becomes the new supreme leader. The end. There's a comic book that happens afterwards and wraps up the story even more, but this video is way too long already, so we'll call it here. What did you think of this? series. Well, it's pretty short. I mean, it's fine, I guess. Kind of middle of the road, but you might like it if you love Transformers. I think if it became a full series, it might have gotten better as it progressed, but as it is, it's just kind of, eh, I don't know. You can definitely tell that the budgets were decreasing and shrinking at this point, because there was very little money spent on art. Yeah, and as far as like the ideas in this series, it's just like, this thing is super powerful, and when combined with this thing, it becomes even more powerful, and if you use it on yourself, you become powerful. Overall, Pretty generic, but I don't hate it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it except for the whole shipping of your underage boys. But uh, yeah, I don't know why they did that. I've got qu I got so many questions. Just why? Well, uh, comment down below whether you're more politically aligned with the headmasters or the power masters or the micro masters or the demon lords. And if this video reaches 1,000 likes, that's right, we're asking for a lot this time, we will redub the entire episode of Transformers Zone. In English, of course, with perhaps a sprinkling of Korean and maybe a touch of Spanish. And most of it will, you know, not be accurate to the Japanese translation, but it'd be kind of fun, so we might just do it anyway. But click this video over here, rethink you'll like it because everyone else did. Or click Click over here to watch the video about the strange Transformer ripoff, and stay tuned as we will be covering the anime Beast Wars 2 in the future, so subscribe for that. Yes, should be really fun. But until then, in the wise words of Emusa the Anime Rabbit, goodbye. On Earth, the Demon Generals are wreaking havoc and twerking below the surface. <laughs> <laughs>